number one. We have to teach you flirting. I know how to flirt. Put the hot dog in slowly. Oh, oh, whoa. I don't think so. In Sacramento, Abby Richter produces a morning news show that's about to be cancelled. To boost ratings, her boss hires Mike Chadway, a local cable call-in host who promotes the ugly truth. Perfect. Real or fake? You'll never know. Wow, you look great. Oh, I was just doing the dishes. I think he likes you. If you are expecting to see a typical romantic comedy you will be surprised, because this R-rated film is geared toward the men in the audience as well as the ladies. He slept with the one who could read. Yeah, I'm spending my money. Would you stop doing that? Why is it turning you on? For the truth is, it is very romantic at its core, and that's the best ingredient a comedic love tale can possess. The Ugly Truth. Mr. Memo, where are you? You want to come back strong here. Like, where am I? Why don't you check your underpants? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't write that. Maybe we should have... Adam, Ashton Kutcher, and Emma, Natalie Portman, met each other once at a school summer camp but never committed. I can't focus on my porn with all this real sex going on around me. <laughs> you probably should have snuck off. Yeah, that just felt wrong. He finds comfort in her and they have spontaneous sex too. They decide that they should restrict their relationship to this level as she isn't comfortable with dating. Find these perfect guys, and then you're like, it'll never work. I think monogamy goes against our basic biology. Go hook up with someone else. You kidding? Okay. I'm gonna call every girl in my phone. If you are looking for a light-hearted romantic comedy, this is a great choice. Adam? You are such an overachiever. Thank you. It has some great comedic moments and brings in the romance that most ladies love to see. Go on a date with me. One date. Yeah, why can't we just have sex? You know what? I'll call you about the annulment. Why don't you just email me? We'll always have Vegas. <sighs> Set in Sin City. Story revolves around two people who discover they've gotten married following a night of debauchery, with one of them winning a huge jackpot after playing the other's quarter. And sentencing you to six months hard marriage. Objection. Objection. When they decide to take it to court, the judge decides that they should remain married for six months and attend counseling sessions. Party going on in my living room. Dude, it's a trap. No, this happens. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> and they both learn that if one of them asks to get out of the marriage, the other will get the money. Oh, yeah, this is happening. By the way, it's your day for dishes. If you like love comedies, you should see this movie. But if you are looking something more brainy, keep walking. Part-time love friend, full-time friend. When this is all over, we can, and we can always get back together. Uh, were we together? Yeah, we were once, you know. A tale told over four seasons, starting in autumn when Juno, a 16-year-old high school junior in Minnesota, discovers she's pregnant after one event in a chair with her best friend, Bleeker. We should let it get a little cuter, yes. right? Great. Keep it in the oven. Fox Searchlight Pictures presents a comedy about life. Boy, I thought you were the kind of girl who... Juno found a lovely couple in the penny saver looking to be parents. She contacts the family and discusses the adoption. Katrina's not my girlfriend, right? And I doubt that she gave you the stink eye. That's just the way her face looks, you know? That's just her face. I don't know if I'm even ready to be a father. Will Juno's plan work? Can she improvise? And what about Bleeker? On a personal level, Juno has left an impression on me, and I will truly never forget it. That it's possible that two people can stay happy together forever. The best thing you can do is find a person who loves you for exactly what you are. Juno. Would you sleep with him? Jeez, God! Yeah, probably. You would? You gotta take control of your manhood, pal. Can you put on some clothes, please? A middle-aged husband's life changes dramatically when his wife asks him for a divorce. 
He seeks to rediscover his manhood with the help of a newfound friend, Jacob, learning to pick up girls at bars. She's your soulmate, right? Go get her back. Wow, how old are you? <laughs> I'm in love with her, and I don't know what to do about it. But eventually he realizes he still loves Emily and wishes he could go back. I told you that I had to work late. I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. And it was so bad. In short, Crazy Stupid Love does what the best romantic comedies do. I should have fought. <laughs>